Jose. Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're going to make it to this party. Oh sure my gosh. So we're doing Dutch. This. Oh, yeah. oh, Every time I hear his voice, I get annoyed. Social climbing. Old Senor Bronte. <laughs> and yeah, you know, I came in with a nice new outfit. Because, you know, I like to be bougie. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> wow. I am in a tuxedo. How cute. It's a good thing I shaved, too. I used to quite often. Could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I of know course. Is going and then Dutch is going to make another stupid house. plan. And, the and then we're going to get screwed the over. And then we're going to have to run away. Sure we will find At least he's very consistent with his douchebaggery, if I do say so myself. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. I wonder what happened last year. Now you have me really Luca interested. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Look at that. He's not used to getting the patch. Please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Am I really in a tux? Holy cow. Okay, Arthur, you really did fix yourself up. Looking all dandy and everything. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, respect. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. That is what it means to me. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. Love our ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me, and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Wow, these are pretty fancy stairs, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and the paintings, we cannot forget the paintings. Look at this. This house is beautiful. I'm really impressed. Oh, and the deck. Look at how big the deck is. So wait, we can't have guns, but his guards can. Okay, that's cute. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the nice little cigar. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> this is like high school drama. I, I am not even surprised. Confederate major in the war. Confederate. Very Boo! Boo! His very young wife. How I'm young? Mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they did. They <laughs> wouldn't. Tr they and was the not tricked. Oh, yeah, the land was stolen from them. <laughs> you stupid Italian that, sausage. That is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to Oh, help that's can, why we're uh, here. He wants us to I'm kill people. I pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. 
he is talking so much shit about other people i wonder what he says about us behind our backs i'm curious waste any more of your time yes 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 go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum it'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and what cows out on the open range <laughs> what who does that I'm sure were the days no one does <laughs> he's insulting us right in front of our faces but before you go what uh, exactly are your plans here well we've not made any well we, we are going to need some money Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, okay. okay as ragazzi, a guest. Adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly... Dutch, you really want to deal with this scumbag, honestly? He is so pompous. I can't stand him. Just because he has money, he thinks he's hot shit. I can't stand people like that. But then again, Dutch would be the one to mingle among gentlemen, those types of... People. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Gentlemen. See ya. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Are you serious? I don't even want to be here, Dutch. I just came here for the free food, okay? That's it. If you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Okay. Information. Oh wow. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out Steal nothing but information. Whatever. Hello, ladies. Gentlemen. Hello. What am I supposed to be looking for? This intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Excuse <laughs> me? Drunk. Yeah. What say you, Mikula? How do you do? Wow, this man is so vulgar and disgusting. Come on, big boy. Like... Yeah, I can tell you're a low-key racist. Goodbye. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. And behave yourself you and Hello, and sir. reflect. Reflect on what you are saying and doing because you're an asshole. Anyways, I believe I found the mayor. Sorry, the mayor. Lazy mouth, of course. All right, let me see what he has to say. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Ooh, fireworks. Oh, oh, oh. Alexa, play fantastic. Fireworks by Katy Perry. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Cornwall. Okay. Let me see what type of dirt or tea I have. Because Cornwall here, he... I feel like he's everywhere. He is seriously in every single spot that we are in. So he really is good at finding us. I love how everyone is so distracted by the fireworks that no one realizes that I'm following this guy. And I'm actually pretty surprised that this guy has yet to realize I'm right on his ass. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Nice. This is so cute. This is so nice. What type of information am I supposed to get from him? Is there Let me see. Taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Okay. That's cute. You cannot be in here, sir. Let me show you out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll leave. No te preocupes. Oh, I gotta do it all over again. Dang. Okay, so I definitely gotta make sure. I'm not seen by anyone. Is everything taken care? Of? The telephone it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Okay, I'm gonna wait until he fully walks away, right? Okay. Let me go ahead Marie. and. Marie, find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. What? Will not have standard slip in this house. He has yet to realize I'm right here. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Are you gonna hit her? Look at me. Look at me. Are you really gonna hit her? Oh, <gasps> Mira! He hit her. You, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. What a scumbag. A you, miss. A final warning. Hit her again and I'll you deck you in the face. How about side. that? You did all that for what? Whatever. This guy is really annoying. Can I rob him now? Or later? Like, let me know. Okay, let's see what he's doing. Oh, he's right there. Huh. Interesting. Can I get in? No, that's it. Guards! Guards! We have an intruder. Oh, I'm so I'm really not supposed to interact with him at all. Well, I have to do all of this all over again? Come on. Hey. Okay. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Okay, so I have to not interact with him at all. He's gone. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at him. Look at him scolding her like she's a look kid. at me. And look, watch. Who do you think you are? Slapping her Sorry, upside her head. The likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Wow, look at Get that. Look sight. at you puffing and huffing your chest at her. <sighs> it's 
scumbag. Alright, let me go up the stairs. Okay, so I'm gonna stay right here, right? So he's doing something in that room. But the question is, what exactly? Okay, I don't even know where to go from here, though. Because what if he tries to go down the stairs again? You feel me? Okay, now I can go and retrieve the ledger. Nice. How you know he's not gonna- Oh, okay. Damn, it's locked. Of course I know how to unlock it. Am I really surprised? Nice. Look at that. Now I can leave. Question is... Wait, inspect what letter? Let me see. I'm curious. Leave me alone. There's a letter on the desk. I'm definitely gonna read it. Yet again, the city is in debt to you, and I am flabbergasted by your generosity. The magnificent gift you provide will provide to be a cornerstone in our financing of our dream of establishing a world-renowned university in our city. We are now well on our way to the funds necessary to fund both the, the Divinity School and the Humanities College. Future students in Lemon, wait, Lemon, owe a great deal to the vision of, of men such as you. Blah, blah, blah. Nice. Anyways, I need to leave. I've read what I've read. I've got the ledger too. This is a lot of tea, honestly. So much tea. Alright. Good day, sir. Good day to you, sir. Look at him trying to flirt with that woman. Anyways, where's Dutch? Can we talk about the music? Music is nice. Fancy. Wow. Fancy, fancy. Uh, where's Dutch? Oh, he's up there. Wow. I went down all the stairs for nothing. Let me walk up again. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour to you, too. <clears throat> This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Shut up. Stop yeah. making a scene. I think we're done here. No food? Did you find out? We didn't eat any food. Come on. We went to a party for nothing. Grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank. Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. They're always chasing paper, but the thing is, what's the point if you guys are just gonna ruin your plans? Here you comes feel me? Money. All right, let's get in. <clears throat> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I nope. So. That was hmm. sneaky. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. That's the worst thing. That's the worst thing Dutch can ever say. Let me think about time. it. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Are you really Jose serious about that? Reconnaissance on the bank. 
He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine okay. man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, Maybe. I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. Which you we said it how many home. times? Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. So how do you know where to go if you don't know where to go? I'm gonna go invest. You're so this inconsistent with your plans, Dutch. About. Okay. Your plans are full uh, of holes. Does not connect. You're putting us in danger, continuously in danger, time after time after time. Honestly, it's getting old, Dutch. This is getting old. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Well, I'm well, I think. You think? It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. Thank goodness, so, right? No regrets. Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Do I really want to talk about it? That all ended long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Or a combination of both. Of well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Oh, Morgan, no. We have a problem. Oh, no. Real what now? What now? What? She's oh, silly. Taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Ooh, look at that. You and I can handle this, Arthur. Okay, say less. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Okay. I'll follow your lead. All right, head for roads and quick. Roads? Isn't that the place where we're not allowed to have guns? She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. Okay. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. So a reason I why I didn't think it would be a problem. You didn't uh, tell yes. Dutch? Oh, yes. Because this could have been avoided. With her anyway. I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. Oh, come on. That is so she unnecessary. For good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. So now they're trying to kill her? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But we all have our vices. We all have our past. Fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. We will, trust me. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, we I'll will kill them. No worries. The Oof. I think that's the place up ahead. Okay, say less. I got you. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. You sure? Because I can deal with him myself. Ooh. I don't want you to get hurt. Up oh, the attitude. We're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by Look at her. Whoa. She stabbed him right in the neck. Whew. Say less. Oh my goodness. Say less. That is so funny. All right. Anyways, where's Tilly? Where the hell is Tilly?
There you go. There you go. Tilly, are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, Tilly. I what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, poor, oh, poor girl. Of course. It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. They Say were less. Him, I think. Five. Well, Say less. Those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that. Woo! Get we're going to have perfect. so Shut much up. fun. Don't let's worry, go. Now Woo! Catch that Let's go! Let's go! Okay, say less. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got it. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I can't shoot him? I got you, no worries. Just shoot him. They think they're getting away. They got another thing coming. Kill him. There you go. There you go. Next. Next, let's go. Come on. We've got him now. There you go. Say less. Don't Let's let go. Oh no, trust me, he's Don't not. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Say less. This is so exciting. I love getting revenge. No, you made a big mistake kidnapping a girl and for what? Cause she killed one of your boys out of self-defense? Nasty. Let's go. Oh yes! Yes. Oh, shut the hell up! As if. Alright, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. <laughs> Say less. She is, nice. she is. Wait, why am I. I'm not dropping him. Look at him squirming around, though. That is so funny. So, Anthony Foreman, what do you have to say to yourself, huh? Kidnapping people for what? For what? Let's go. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? Enlighten me, I'm then. Anthony Foreman. So? Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> At least I'm not the one getting tied. She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. As she should. Good, I'm glad. Out of self-defense. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? It's not me. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you Exactly, deserve. exactly. Your time with that girl. Really? She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. But you Shut didn't. Now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Anyways, Tilly. Look who I got. Alright. Here's your man. Say less. I want to get a good look at this monster. Man, this is so funny. All right, here you go. So he's still alive then? Yes, he is. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. Wow. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. 
You won't Say be. it. I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Can you, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? Your I choice. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Okay. Sadly, I agree with you. Bye, Anthony. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Adios, scumbag. Oh, and his blood is all over my new outfit. Oh, I hate that. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.